As the calendar turns to October, the Ottawa Senators would normally be getting ready to kick the season off on the ice. But with the threat of the novel coronavirus around the world, the next 10 days or so will involve a lot of action off the ice for the Senators. Not only are they preparing for next week's National Hockey League draft on Tuesday night, where they hold the number three and number five selections in the first round, along with number 28 received in the Jean-Gabriel Pajot trade, they're also preparing to shape their roster through restricted and unrestricted free agency. General Manager Pierre Dorian has a lot on his plate. The thinking is the Senators are either going to get Quinton Byfield of the Sudbury Wolves or Tim Stutzla of Mannheim at the number three pick, depending on which way the Los Angeles Kings go in front of them. Okay, so what happens with number five? There's been an interesting twist there. We've heard lots of names like Cole Perfetti, Jamie Drysdale, Lucas Raymond, a Swedish winger, but the reality is the Senators may also be willing to move back with that pick if they, as long as they can stay in the top 10. That means the teams behind them may be calling Dorian because they want to get a player at five and the Senators think they can get a similar player later in that first round. Here's the other thing that's going to happen is free agency will open on October 9th and the Senators need help. Not only are they looking possibly at the goalie market, they're also going to be looking at the possibility of perhaps signing a veteran or two to help the club up front. The Senators have a need at centre, unless Colin White can bounce back from a difficult year he had last season. The club also needs help on defence after the decision by Mark Borbietsky to go to free agency. And the Senators are also talking to veteran defenseman Ron Hainsey about returning next season. Along with that, qualifying offers will go to the restricted free agents next week. So, stay tuned to Post Media for the next couple of weeks for all the action that's going to happen off the ice. For Post Media in Ottawa, I'm Bruce Garriock.